Blog Talk Radio. Hello, and welcome to today's episode of 219 Green Connect, where we explore topics about the environment and green living in Northwest Indiana. For past show archives, news, and upcoming events, you can check out our website at 219greenconnect.com, or you can connect with us on Facebook or Twitter. Our ID on both of those sites is 219 Green Connect. You can also now subscribe to our podcast on iTunes, the name again, 219 Green Connect. Listeners to our live show today, March 21st, can phone in to join us with questions at 805-243-1323. And I am Kathy Sipple. I'm your host. And with me today, I have Lourdes Castellanos. And Lourdes is the owner, the founder of Creative Solutions. Uh, She's part of a brother and sister duo who lost their father to congenital heart disease. Only three weeks before that, their paternal uncle had also passed away suddenly from a heart attack. Friends could hardly believe that these two close brothers would pass within weeks of just, you know, of one another. While it was a devastating time for their entire family, it was also a rude awakening to the reality of genetic heart disease within their family. Having tackled and failed at short-run crash diets and overzealous exercise plans, the road to weight loss and healthy habits had always been a poorly managed goal for the siblings. In 2009, the realization hit overall mind and body health is more than just cutting carbs and spinning classes. It's a way of living healthy living. Since then, Lourdes has met with several key experts in the area of mind and body health and finally narrowed down the keys to healthy living in five areas nutrition, fitness, health and wellness, environment, and style. So what she has done is united these experts and is launching a new uh, event for Northwest Indiana. And Lourdes, are you here on the line with me now? I am, Kathy. Thank you so much for having me on the show today. You're, you're very welcome. Well, I just gave the lead up as to how you within your family had some kind of challenging uh, and it's very sad health results uh, from congenital heart disease, but I give you a lot of credit to take those uh, tragic events and turn it into an opportunity to explore healthier healthier living. And so this has all led up to your event, which kicks off this, this Saturday, right? Correct. It's this Saturday, uh, March 24th at the Avalon Manor. Um, in Hobart, Indiana. Um, We're extremely excited. We've gotten really great feedback from not just attending uh, guests, but uh, from business owners in the community in general. Um, We have several great uh, sponsors backing the event. Um, I'm, I'm really, I'm really pleased with, uh, with the turnout for a first-time event, and everybody knows that first-time events are extremely difficult. Um, we've, I, I'm happy. I, I couldn't be happier. Um, it is, it is, uh, it was prompted by, um, by a heart disease that runs in my family. Um, both my, my grandfather's on both sides of my family um, passed away from heart disease as well. So um, it, it, I'm learning as well as, as I'm as I've done all the research. I'm still learning um, to live healthy, and it's hard. Everybody who's ever, I'm sure, tried a diet or um, tried to eat healthier, you know, making the right choices is not always easy. Um, but but it can be done, and that's the purpose of Healthy You is teaching people that it doesn't have to be an, a, a complete you know life changing overhaul. It can be you know, just making small, small, um, smart choices, um, small changes, smart choices is what we're promoting. Um, so you can take a class, for example, we're offering, Kathy, over 28 workshops in healthy living in the areas that you mentioned. And um, so, for example, if you're interested in learning how to cook um, smarter, we're, we're offering a diabetic cooking class. Um, and, you know, diabetic cooking is, is I mean, once you implement that in your home cooking, it's healthy for everyone. Sure. Um, if you're interested in um, um, traditional oriental medicine, we're offering a workshop on, on that as well, um, sponsored by the Namaste Center in Laporte. Um, one of the things that was really hard for my dad, I have to say, um, after his open heart surgery in um, 2002, um, he uh, he was on several medications. And it was really hard for him. You know, it was it was uh, stopping 
um, his favorite food, stopping from eating them cold turkey. You know, that that's hard for anybody. Um, and then on top of that, taking tons of medications, it's just it's not the way he wanted to live. Um, and, and I don't want to, you know, heart, I'm, I'm a good candidate now for heart disease, of course, so I don't want to live that way, and I don't want my kids to have to live that way. So, you know, it's, it's, um, it's challenging, but it can be done. And there are so many great um, organizations and businesses in our community um, that offer services for uh, learning to live healthier, and, um, and I, I think this is the first step in our community. Great. Well, that, that's really wonderful. I, I have a program here in front of me, and uh, the, the classes or the workshops definitely have, you know, run the gamut. We've got uh, creating healthy green communities. There's something about you know, avoiding identity theft, which I imagine if that happens could really have some uh, ripple effects into your stress life. Uh, feng exactly. Shui basics, all kinds of things. So what are some of your right. favorite workshops that you're looking forward to? You know, I wish I could sit in on all of the workshops mm-hmm. because I think they're all interesting. And this is something that I've been working on, as you've mentioned, um, for a couple years now. Um, I, I have an advisory board, and, and they've been excellent in giving me feedback on what might interest the community. And we try to touch on every aspect in your life. Um, you mentioned the, the areas, health and wellness, nutrition, fitness, environment, and style. And these are all things that, you know, are, are involved in, in making us a healthy person. It's not just a matter of nutrition and fitness. Um, it's it's overall mind and body health. So, you know, we're offering classes on how to, you know, manage your your um, finances, um, learning, as you mentioned, uh, realities of, or, or I'm sorry, you mentioned um, uh, some of the uh, workshops in, um, would you say, cre- uh, realities of credit or, the, yeah, oh, I, avoiding I ID. Saw that one. ID yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, ID. right. Um, sure. Right, we're, and, and those are both hosted by um, Citizens Financial Bank, one of our sponsors. Um, but um, you're right, avoiding ID theft. I mean, it's, it's great information for anyone. Um, and then uh, the realities of credit, how, how credit affects our lives, um, organizing your home and life, um, feng shui basics, as you mentioned already, um, and then in fitness, we're offering qigong, again, uh, hosted by the Namaste Center in Laporte, uh, Zumba, yoga, kettlebell, I mean, just about everything that, that um, you can think of in terms of um, what you've always thought of maybe wanting to try, Kathy, but maybe just haven't done it or haven't been embarrassed to do it. This is for this is for people who maybe have never done it before, but it's also for people who love doing it and maybe want to do, you know, 45 minutes or an hour of Zumba. Um, we're offering kid health um, in our nutrition section and vitamin smarts. There's so much out there about vitamins and what sh- we should be taking and what we shouldn't be taking. I mean, every day there's something on the news, and it changes, I feel like, uh, from from one week to the next, the information changes, and this is all just information to educate us, and so that we can make those smart choices. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, although these workshops, Kathy, are hosted by local businesses and organizations, we are um, we're leading the classes so that people don't feel our guests don't feel like they're in an infomercial. So what what it is is. The workshops are all about the education. It's not about mm-hmm. that that uh, class leader's specific business or services. It's about the education. And the workshop leaders, we're, we're all on the same page about that. Um, we are, of course, giving credit to the workshop leaders, of course. But, um, but it's about the education. And once people leave Healthy You on Saturday, we want them to feel comfortable going to any um, local business um, or organization for those services to continue that education. Right, just to kind of find out what you don't know and then explore service providers maybe for a more sustainable solution. Absolutely. Okay. And let's just uh, tell people if they're interested in in finding information or how can they buy tickets, is there a website they can go to? Sure. Uh, The website is www.yourhealthyu.com. 
Okay, yourhealthyu.com, and the, the information is there um, on the workshops. You can download descriptions of all the workshops. Um, you can register online. You can purchase your tickets online. Um, we we are offering great incentives on our tickets right now. I mean, it's thirty dollars, Kathy, a ticket right now, and what that includes is going to four of our twenty eight workshops. Um, they're forty five minutes long each. And it includes a healthy lunch. Uh, we're having portobello wraps and um, chicken Caesar wraps, and it includes pasta salad and fresh fruit. Mm-hmm. Um, it also includes um, door prizes, all of the vendors, and even uh, some of the local businesses who couldn't participate this, this time around but wanted to be involved and donate a door prize for the event on Saturday. Um, we have over 30 uh, door prizes that we're raffling. So every person that comes in the door as a guest will get a raffle ticket, and those will be raffled at the end of the event. So it's it's a lot for $30. You really can't beat that. Um, And, Kathy, one of our our highlights of the event is we're having um, Nick Varios is coming. Nick Varios is an American fashion designer, and he was one of the contestants on Project Runway Season 2. Um, he does a lot of the red carpet uh, events after the Academy Awards, um, sometimes with Joan Rivers. It's 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 a great um, – he's great. He's He's got so much energy. I actually had the opportunity to work with him uh, a few years ago on a project that I was working on for General Mills and, and Special K. So, um, so I, I do know him personally. I've worked with him, and he is just – He's wonderful, and he's just got so much energy. Um, he's going to be leading a workshop, Kathy, called Me, My Shape, and I. Mm-hmm. And um, what he's going to be addressing is how to dress uh, based on the different body types that are out there, um, what is most flattering to um, to your shape. Um, and we're just we're really excited about that. He's got a PowerPoint presentation all lined up, and again, he's just he's amazing to work with. Um, visitor uh, guests will also have the opportunity to um, meet him and take pictures with him. So we're really excited about that. Um, we are also um, happy to have Marcy Crozier, who is a local celebrity. Um, Marcy is over at Omni, of course. And she is. Uh, she was one of the contestants on Biggest Loser, NBC's Biggest Loser, uh, season 11. So she'll be doing our morning welcome and and talking about um, her journey um, in trying to get healthy. And uh, we're really excited to have her um, join us at Healthy You as well. So we really have a great lineup for Saturday. And I mean, people don't have to come for the entire day. Doors doors do open at 8 a.m. Kathy. Okay. The program actually starts at 9. Mm-hmm. And then it ends at 3.30. So um, so there's a lot to do. Um, we're having vendors as well, as I mentioned. Um, we have over 30 vendors right now. And um, companies and business or uh, companies and organizations are still contacting me to participate. And wow. it's just, it's, it's so great. It is so great. Um, this is something that um, I do want to do every year. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's important, and I think it's to keep up with with uh, what's out there in terms of services uh, and living healthy. So I do want to do this every year, um, but I I just I'm really excited about this year's event. Again, for a first time event, I I couldn't be more pleased uh, with well, the feedback that we've gotten from the community. That's great. I know when I met you just a few weeks ago, I could tell that your heart and soul had been you know poured into this, and there was a lot of excitement, and it had a lot of you know, personal meaning for you, obviously based on uh, what's happened in your family. And okay. I, you know, wish you the best success. This sounds like a really, really great lineup, and I think for $30, an excellent value, I mean, you could pay easily half of that just for the lunch section. Exactly, <laughs> you know, exactly, e- exactly. And so. And we just, we want, you know, if people can't come for the whole day, we know that it, it's starting to get busy with um with spring breaks and um, vacations, but if people can't come for the entire day, do come for part of the event. I mean, a- anything that you can you can learn and take away with you and and share with um, family members as friends is is more than worth thirty dollars. And also, Kathy, what I wanted to mention is that um, all the workshop leaders are um, are going to be offering three to five healthy you tips in okay. each workshop. 
Mm-hmm. And these are things that people can actually uh, write down or um, maybe provided by the workshop leader already, but these are things that they can take home with them and sh- actually share with family and friends. Um, it's it's just we've really, really thought out, you know, the entire event and how it would work and how it would be received. And, and uh, the most important thing for us is the education. We want people to consider um, implementing what they learn on Saturday into their lives and sharing that important information with friends and family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, and we need it here in Indiana, don't we? I, I see yeah, we, uh, in your statistics do. here in the flyer, it says 8 out of 10 over the age of 25 are overweight. 58 million Americans are overweight, 40 million are obese, and Indiana is ranked 10th in the nation for obesity, which right. puts us all at you know, greater risk for heart disease, diabetes, stroke, and other serious health problems. So, Exactly. Yeah, the numbers know, are staggering. Yeah. Um, and, we, and Lake County alone is uh, the most unhealthy county in the state of Indiana. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, it's Lake scary. County. It is. We're, we're making this uh, location. Couldn't be easier for you. Right on 30, Avalon, right there <laughs> in your county. You need to get there. And I would think if I was an employer, I might really, you know, buy a book of tickets or something and encourage employees to go. Because, exactly, you know, and we've been trying to do that, Kathy. Yeah, health care is just such a, you know, major expense for business owners these days, and it just keeps going up. And with, you know, us not taking responsibility for our own care, you know, it it's likely to just keep going up and spiraling out of control, you know, which leads to more stress. <laughs> And, exactly, you know, exactly. Not good. Not good. And and uh uh Ryan Richardson from mm-hmm. Grow Northwest Indiana and um and the old county line orchard um has graciously um gotten his staff involved and they have about 30 staff going on Saturday. That's great. So I yeah, it's it's excellent. We're so happy. Um and he is uh Grow Northwest Indiana is one of our sponsors. Um but we are we're really happy. I mean, that's what we wanted. We really wanted, you know, um um staff to come, employees. Um it's just it's important like you said it affects our bottom line um mm-hmm. at the workplace and and with healthcare. Um so we are encouraging businesses to um to encourage their own employees to come on Saturday and that's why we've really we tried to make it affordable um for for people to come and um and take advantage. I mean, we don't have this is a really unique event for uh Lake County Northwest Indiana. We don't have anything like this. I know that they have uh, some programs in Chicago. Um but of course those carry with them um Chicago prices. Right. And so, just the gas cost to get there is pretty heavy these exactly. days. Exactly. <laughs> right. Gas, so, parking, I mean, yeah. it, it can be expensive. So you just, you you really can't beat the price. I mean, it's just, it's you get so much for $30. Um, and also, I didn't mention that every guest that comes in the door will, will receive a tote bag, and it'll have the Healthy You logo and some of our sponsors. Um, Franciscan Alliance is, is one of our uh, our partners. Um, and can I run down those really sure, quick? Please, I just want to thank do. them because they've really made it possible for us to do this uh, for the first time. Franciscan Alliance and their program, Spirit of Women, Citizens Financial Bank, uh, Grow Northwest Indiana, as I mentioned, Vanis Salon and Day Spa, Nick Shane's Business Products and Solutions, Z107, um, Frank J. Mervan, and the North Township Trustee, um, Mike Kors South Lake Auto Mall, Inspiration Fitness, Tri Electronics. I mean, it's such a great list of uh, reputable business owners in our community. I just, you know, I'm really, really grateful to them because without their support, um, this would not be possible, truly. Good. Well, it's and it's I good think to hear that such a, a nice cross section. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you there, but go ahead. <laughs> No, 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 that's okay. We also um we also involve Kathy um some of our um uh well known um not for profit organizations. 
also we have um, uh, charitable partners that we're working with as well, and those are St. Jude House and Crown Point. It's a it's a shelter for uh, women and children, um, and we also have uh, the Humane Society Calumet area, and the Namaste Center um, again, who is hosting several of our health and wellness workshops. So we really we think it's important too to give back. So that's why we've involved. Um, three charitable partners this year, and, and we're really pleased to be working with them. So um, the Humane Society uh, will be there on Saturday, and if anybody has donations, um, please visit their website, uh, hscalumet.org, um, for their wish list, and um, please bring any items that, that might be on that list. Um, Namaste Center, of course, is hosting uh, several workshops and will be on site with more information um, and uh, uh, St. Jude House as well, who's been uh, really helpful, um, Mary McShane, in, in helping me organize the event. Um, and just to go down our list of uh, health and wellness, Kathy, if that's mm-hmm. okay. Sure, please do. Um, okay, they are Healing Touch, uh, Reiki, Rebalancing Your Energy, um, primordial, pri- sorry, Primordial Sound Meditation. Um, we're even offering Animal Reiki, um, and cool. acupuncture. <laughs> Can I just tell you my my dog's name is Ricky? <laughs> oh, really? That's yeah. great. Yeah. So we give each other Ricky, I suppose. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Couldn't dogs pass that. Are great. Yeah. They are yeah. the dogs. Animals in general are a great stress reliever. I'm mm-hmm. I'm all for that. We have mm-hmm. two dogs and two cats ourselves. So. Very um cool. And then the last one under health and wellness is acupuncture and traditional Oriental medicine. And then if I could read the nutrition workshops, Kathy, they are Sugar Blues, Sugar Blues, which will discuss um, cravings and addictions and how we can satisfy those in a healthy way. Instead of reaching for the bag of potato chips or the Twinkies, um, we can learn what why our body um, um, goes through those uh, cravings and addiction feelings and how we can handle those um, in a healthy way. Um, we're offering a Kid Healthy workshop, and this is um, to help parents and families learn how to um, get your kids to eat healthy. It's not always the easiest thing. I know myself with two kids, um, but encouraging them to eat healthy and how you can get them involved in actually helping you cook healthy. Um, eating for energy, that's self-explanatory, you know, what foods are out there. You hear so much conflicting information, I feel like, Kathy, um, the, the infomercials and, you know, the articles. It's just, I feel, again, like just information changes every week. Mm-hmm. So I think it's important for us to know what's important for us if we're trying to increase our metabolism. What what should we be taking in every day? And what shouldn't we be taking in, um, maybe at certain hours of the day even? Um, vitamin smarts, as I've mentioned before, again, I feel like this information is always changing. Um, so it's important for us to know what sh- we should be taking and not only what we should be taking on a daily basis, but but there are certain vitamins that we should be taking in more of at certain ages. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're offering that as well. Eating local, know your food. This is so important to our economy on a local level. Um, and McShane. <laughs> Yeah, yeah Ann McShane. Yeah. You know Ann, she'll be hosting that workshop and it's just it it's just detrimental to our community that people learn to buy local, support our local farmers. Um so she'll be discussing that. And then diabe- diabetic cooking equals healthy eating. Again, if you're cooking for a diabetic in your home, everybody eats healthy in your home. Um and then our fitness program includes uh, Qigong, Zumba, yoga, kettlebell, um, and then we're offering a second Zumba class in the afternoon. Um, environment, the environment area includes realities of credit, it ain't easy being green, and we have this this class, uh, Kathy, I have to tell you, I'm going to try to get away and sit in on this class for sure. I think this is so awesome. Um, we have um, our class leader will be teaching us how to make your own cleaning products. Oh, great. with what you have in your kitchen. That's, That's so great. important. I mean, you don't know anymore what you're purchasing when you mm-hmm. purchase over the counter sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. You know, they may not be kid-friendly, or what you put on your lawn, on your lawn in the summers may not be um, pet-friendly. So mm-hmm. it's important mm-hmm. that we know what is in our, our cleaning products. Um, so she's going to be giving recipes as well and, and um, doing demonstrations. I think that's great. Um, again, we'll be... 
Say say that again. Do you do you have the name of the teacher handy? I'm just curious who that person is going to be. Uh, sure. Let me pull that up. Um, not, no problem. I just wondered if it was anybody I had talked to previously. Um, I'm I'm sure you have. I believe I want to say it's Catherine Ashton okay. out of Sacred Spaces, but let me okay. double check. Um, I've met so many great people, um, Kathy. Uh, you're one of them. <laughs> but I've <laughs> right met so many you. great people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've met well. so many great people through this process. It's been um, it's been just a fantastic uh, experience. I can't tell you. Um, that's wonderful, and that's, I, that's really you know the reason that I exist here for this you know radio show and for the um, you know the website is I I see people doing great work in natural health or, you know, building greener buildings or, you know, eating local. But a lot of times it just doesn't seem like those folks have the opportunity to connect. So, you know, I kind of do it virtually. You're doing it with a brick-and-mortar full day, you know, of events. And I think that one hand really washes the other. If we can keep, you know, helping to promote live introductions you take away information that you can share on Facebook or post on your blog or, you know, cross-promote. And I think together we're going to get a lot more done and a lot more information shared, good information, as you say, that exactly. you know, seems to change every day. But anyway, exactly. okay, my soapbox. <laughs> so what <laughs> no, else? I, I, I totally agree. Yeah. And um, I think that um, I think that once this catches on, I think that um, we'll we'll start to make our mark in Mm -hmm. in this community. Um, Again, I think that first-time events are are really tough, but I think if people will come to this event and learn what we're trying to do, learn about our mission in in, in the healthy movement, um, I think that the word will spread fast, and and I'm hopeful that next year uh, we'll be even more successful. And, Kathy, we've already picked out our date for next year. Good. Just to let you know. Love um, it. Again, <laughs> we're, we're, um, yeah, <laughs> we want people to start saving the date. You know, mm-hmm. the, the 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 days and months are flying. I can't believe we're already here mm-hmm. um, after a couple of years of planning. But um, the date for next year is uh, Saturday, April thirteenth. Okay. Um, it will again be at the Avalon. I, I love the Avalon because um, you know we have the opportunity to, to use the entire venue. Mm-hmm. And um, we can break out into workshops, and it, it's just it's a good location for what we're trying to achieve. Yeah, it um, is very nice. It is nice. Um, so we'll be hosting it again there next year. And cool. uh, and I've already had several, uh, not just uh, businesses and um, organizations, but I've had um, class interested class leaders that want to participate next year who couldn't participate this year. Wonderful. Um, we had we had some conflicts with. Uh, Spring breaks and vacations, so um, so we lost a, a few people there, but um, but they're interested in, in participating next year, and we're extremely excited about that. So, mm. and you know, um, Kathy, what we'll do too is is we do want feedback from this year's event. We do want to improve every year. So um, so in each workshop at the end, we will offer um, comment cards okay. um, to help us figure out what what it is people. Um, want to learn maybe next year um, if if this class worked for them, um, if they felt like they were able to take away something that they can actually implement in their in their home lives. So so we do want to improve every year. It's important for us to grow as well as uh, as as an event um, that's servicing the community. So um, so we're very excited. Well, let's give one more shout out for the details on how people can attend. We're talking about healthy you. And it's, uh, a, what would you call it? Is it the health and wellness fair? It sounds like much more than that. It sounds like a whole day of workshops, lunch. Exactly. It's, it's, yeah, exactly. Tickets are just it's, it's more $30. than a health fair. Mm-hmm. Right. Tickets are only $30, Kathy, right now. And you can purchase those at uh, local Times office locations. The Times, by the way, this this event is being hosted by Creative Solutions and the Times Media Company and Get Healthy Magazine. Um, we are um, we're offering the tickets at their locations in Munster, Crown Point, and Valparaiso. So you can walk in and purchase the tickets there for thirty dollars. We have the tickets available online as well. 
um, uh, and, and you can pay with a, a credit card through PayPal. And we've got um, just time contact. for the website, and then we're going to have to wrap. So one more time, the website. Okay, okay sure. www yourhealthyu, the letter U, dot com, yourhealthyu, dot com. Great. That is all the time we have. Thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing healthier Northwest Indianans. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kathy. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Lourdes. Bye-bye. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.